That's a good fish right there. There we go, girl. <laughs> This episode of Let's Take It Outside is presented to you by the city of St. Augustine, Florida's historic coast, a place where history and nature come together. In this episode of Let's Take It Outside, we're taking an exciting journey to discover the wild side of St. Augustine. You're going to discover there's more to St. Augustine than just history, dining, and shopping. There's an adventurous side to this city where you can interact with 16-foot crocodiles and go on an urban gator hunt. So get ready for Extreme St. Augustine. Our first stop is the Courtyard Marriott St. Augustine. Then we're headed over to the Alligator Farm to meet Maximo. Hey everybody, we just arrived in beautiful, historic St. Augustine, Florida, and our first stop is the Alligator Farm. It was established in 1893, and there's a reason it's Florida's oldest attraction. I'm excited to be at the oldest attraction in Florida, here at the Alligator Farm in St. Augustine with John, its director. Tell us a little bit about the Alligator Farm from its inception into what it's evolved into now. Well, so I wasn't around a hundred and plus years ago, so I don't right. know exactly, but we have a little <laughs> history book and it kind of tells us that basically uh, there was a place on the beach, so it wasn't exactly at this location, but right across the street here. And a guy had a thing called Burning Springs Museum. And he had found a freshwater spring near the beach. Great. And he built a building over it. And he, every morning, would pipe kerosene across it and light it. And he'd charge visitors to see the natural phenomenon. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and so the person who started the alligator farm, uh, I'm told, we kind of thought, well, if they'll pay to look at this burning water, they'll probably come to pay to look at some alligators. And he just captured alligators from that existed right here right. on Anastasia Island, put them in some pens and started charging them. So John, are any of your residents here at the alligator farm brought in from nuisance trappers? Absolutely. So uh, trappers are great. We have a lot of friends that are trappers and uh, it's part of a bigger picture. When we're talking about conserving things like alligators, we have to look at what's best for the whole population. But if that alligator became a nuisance, we've realized that you can't just move them from one place to another. We've done a lot of research in that respect. And if you catch them and move them 30 miles away, they'll come right back to where they were because wow. that was home, that was where they were getting food. So taking one animal out of the population is best for it. So sometimes we get a trapper who says, look, I just caught this 12 foot alligator. He might be 80 years old. He's beautiful. I don't want to kill him. Would you guys take him and put him on display there? And we just pay him for the cost, whatever he would have made on the skins mm -hmm. and meat for a big alligator like that. And he comes here and he's on display. So Tell everybody a little bit about uh, Maximo, your crocodile. So Maximo is a 15 and a half foot saltwater crocodile. Uh, we brought him from Australia and he was a breeder there. Well, that's wonderful. And I'm excited to go meet Maximo. Good. And get to feed him as well. So that's going to be quite the experience. I'm very excited. Great. A little nervous, but mostly excited. <laughs> yeah. I'm here with Lauren, of course, at the alligator farm, and I am getting to do something that most people don't normally get to do, nope. but they get to watch. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about what we're doing with Maximo and how we're gonna do it. We're just gonna focus on four jumps with him, so you okay. get to see him come up out of the water and grab a nice, delicious treat from you. So you're telling me that a 15 and a half foot crocodile is gonna jump out of the water and I'm gonna feed him. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> What an 
adrenaline rush, like I'm still kind of shaking trying to catch my breath because that is so exciting. Hands down, the most exciting thing I have done on Let's Take It Outside, that is for sure. My visit with Maximo was really exciting, but now it's time to get ready to do some live alligator capture. I'm going on a nuisance hunt with my buddy Adam right here in St. Augustine. This episode of Let's Take It Outside is brought to you by Minn Kota Trolling Motors. Built to outlast, outmuscle, and outperform the most trusted trolling motor on the water. Hummingbird Electronics with Mega Down and Side Imaging. Fish have nowhere to hide. Simply, clearly, better. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Everything you need to take it outside under one roof. Chica Lodge, where legendary fishermen have stayed since 1946. Isla Morada, the sport fishing capital of the world. Legendary Adventures offers the best fishing charters in Clearwater, Florida. We're the fastest fleet, taking you further, faster, and better than anybody else. We fish for a wide variety of species and specialize in historic trips to the middle grounds. Our captains are highly experienced and fully licensed. Book your day or overnight trip now. Legendary Adventures, live the legendary life. Shepherd's World Famous Entertainment Beach Resort is the ultimate Florida getaway. Located directly on Gulf waters, you can't get any closer to paradise. Immaculate rooms, both ocean views and high-end upgrades. Shepherd's Famous Entertainment pleases the whole family, offering water sports, fine dining, live music, a nightclub, and much more. Come visit Shepherd's World Famous Resort and experience it for yourself. Even the most discerning business owners require affordable video production. With our easy, customer-centric approach, you can maintain your sanity whilst getting the job done. Become a legend with Sasquatch Studios. Hi, this is Misty, and I want you to win big this season. Scan the QR code you see on the screen, text the word TV, and you're entered to win. Charters, vacation stays, rods, reels, and apparel. Follow us on social media for the weekly winners. There's nothing like getting up early to go on your first gator hunt in the historic city of St. Augustine. I was so excited last night, I could barely sleep. But I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit nervous. I'm here at the Avid Angler in St. Augustine with Adam Birch, Game On Charters. And today I'm doing something that I have never done before. And we are gonna go nuisance gator trapping. So Adam, what can I expect today? Well, we're gonna start out with a little safety class this morning. Um, we have a set of permits that we're gonna work uh, on behalf of the uh, Florida Wildlife Commission. And we're gonna go out, um, basically I'm gonna throw the hook. And after that, you're gonna do my job for me for the rest no. of the day. We're, you're gonna reel in the gator, you're gonna harpoon the gator, rope him, um, pull him out of the water with me. And I'm gonna coach you through jumping on his back, taping up his mouth and getting him back to the truck. And that's something that you guys can do here in St. Augustine with Adam as well. Adam, how can they get in touch with you? Um, and do what we're going to do today. Okay, great. Um, just look us up on our website, goffishingcharters.com, and it'll give you all the details. And uh, we take people of all experience levels. If you know nothing about alligators or you're a big game hunter who's traveled the world, um, I think it, everyone we've ever taken out has really had a good time and uh, had a quite, a, quite an adventure with us. Well, I'm ready. Let's right, go. Let's go. Let's do it. Game on. <laughs> Before we get started, we're going to go over the safety meeting with Adam because, again, this is my first time. I really have no clue what I'm doing. But I also want to let you guys know, make sure that you're not doing this without a professional and without the proper licensing. So now that we got that out of the right. way, Adam, what's the plan? What do we do? How do I stay safe? So um, basically we'll go over how we're gonna actually catch the alligator. So we're gonna go stalk the gator. Um, 
the, the, probably the primary way we're going to catch him is if it, he might be on the bank or he might be in the water, we're going to bump him off the bank, get him in the water. We're going to throw across him. This is a 10 aught weighted snag hook. Okay. Um, we're going to throw across him, snag him with that. That's a 130 pound braided line. Okay. Um, and then when you're fighting him, then I'm going to give the reel to you. And okay. when you're fighting him, you don't want to pump the gators. Um, the barbs do not typically make it all the way into the gators right hide. their skin their height is so super tough. tough yeah so so you want to kind of keep it at a basically a 45 or uh, degree angle and just reel as fast as you can once you get him up close enough if he's above seven feet long you're going to harpoon him okay. so this harpoon is going to deploy this is the tip it breaks away and and it goes into the gators back um, the gators have bumps on their back they're called scoots right and those scoots that's your target so the, how close is the gator going to be to me when I harpoon like it? Like that close. That close. Right. Correct. Okay. But when you go to harpoon him, you want to hit him like directly in the back. Anywhere the scoots are, where the bumps are, okay. each one of those has a little bone. But this harpoon, when it hits that little bone, it's going to dart around it and grab him in the hide. And then okay. we'll have him. So when you, but when you go to harpoon him, right. hit him as hard as you can. Don't worry about pulling the harpoon back. So you want to drive it into him and keep keep that pressure on him so hit him as hard as you can and don't try to pull it back because what's their normal reaction when you harpoon them like th what can i expect they're gonna take off then okay. you know but, but I, the, away the, from me or towards me away know. from you <laughs> okay <laughs> hopefully <laughs> So we're going to set a jug bait this morning. Um, this uh, is what the jug is. It's just a standard one liter bottle that we put some foam in, put a little bit of uh, fluorescent paint. You don't want to camouflage these. You want to be able to see them because sometimes right. the gators will drag them off into the bushes and such. Um, it's got my name and number and a warning label that says um, that it's an alligator trap. Uh, this is beef lung. Mm. We pre-cut it and uh, I'm gonna let Misty bait the, do the honors. Okay. Just like, like right a, here? Right, mm -hmm. Okay. Just like a bait for a- Kinda like for, that? Yep, there you go. Boom. Perfect. This is a, a pole we're gonna hang out above the water. We're gonna put a rubber band on it and actually suspend the bait from this rubber band. Um, but we're gonna leave the jug, um, unlike the show you've probably seen Swamp People where they tie it to, the, to, a, to a bush or a tree, we're actually gonna let the jug sit uh, on the bank. When the gator gets it, he'll swim off with the jug and this actually will keep the, uh, the gator basically will not know he's caught um, and he'll be swimming around with the jug. And then when we come back, we'll know exactly where he's at. Even when he's hiding from us, he'll be dragging this jug around with him. I need that. All right. I'm gonna put just a standard rubber band on the top. And what I do is I set the pole ahead of time. Mm -hmm. We we'll kind of gauge. Um, he just wanted to bait like six inches above the water, just high enough. To and they'll smell it out of the water he'll smell like that? It. He's probably looking at us right now. And uh, he'll smell it even from the other side of this pond. Okay. We're just going to put the jug out there and uh, just put it here in the edge of the water. Okay, the jug bait is out, but we just got an emergency call from a dog park nearby. There's a nuisance gator there about, what, six or seven feet long? Correct. We're gonna go save some dogs at the dog park and then come back here and get this gator as well. We're out of here, let's go. Let's go. The day has really gotten started off with a bang. We're already getting tons of nuisance calls, but the most important one is at a dog park where dogs and kids are playing on the water's edge, and that could be a real disaster if we don't capture this gator. Welcome to Miami Land. Good news, it's not some new man-made theme park, but instead, it's the city's real wild side, Miami's great outdoors. No lines, no tickets, no limits. So, when choosing your next vacation, ask yourself, do you want to be a character in someone else's adventure? Or do you want to write your own? The Jayen Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge on Sanibel Island, Florida, where every day is a new adventure. Fish, kayak, hike, bike. Live your wild at the Jayen Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge.
Our children come from different backgrounds with different stories. They learn time-honored values like the importance of faith, hard work, and that an education is something no one can take away. They learn that respect begins with themselves and should be given to others. The Florida Sheriff's Youth Ranches, where kids learn, laugh, and dream with people who refuse to give up on them. With your donation today, we can give them a brighter tomorrow. exciting we just pulled up to the dog park where we got the emergency call from there's people right over there with their kids with their dogs and we've spotted the alligator the good news at least my good news is he's not too big so my first alligator isn't going to be some big monster we're estimating what about a three footer you think which is a, a great size I think to get started on and then also we'll be able to relocate him to another body of water where he can live his life and be free but also keep the puppies safe. As you guys can see in the background, there's a little girl, she looks about three years old, playing on the edge of the water with a bunch of dogs, and they have no clue that just a few feet over there, there's an alligator swimming their direction. These little gators are smarter than you think, and a lot of times they're a lot harder to catch than the bigger one. We've been bouncing around town a little bit, hitting a lot of ponds, lakes. We've set two traps. We checked two dog parks. Um, those gators kind of disappeared. We weren't able to get a hook in them and, and get them out, but we just pulled up to a new location. We've spotted about a seven or eight foot gator right across the pond over there. He's sunning himself. And I just wanted to go over really quick what the game plan is for one that's on the bank. How does that work? What are we gonna do? So we catch probably 70% of our gators this way. Mm -hmm. um, we'll sneak up on him and I'll scare him into the water. And when he pops up, I'll throw this uh, 10 alt treble hook across the top of him and snag him. And then uh, after that, the, the rest of the work is yours. Great, you make it sound so easy. Yeah. I guess it's game on, let's it's go. It's game on. <laughs> just hooked the gator, it was on the bank. He hooked the gator, scared it in the water. It did exactly what he said it was gonna do. He is not happy. We're gonna try and put a second hook in him and I'm just trying to keep him on. Okay, he's biting at the line. I can feel him biting at the line. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got and where am I? See that little beach head down there? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Now what? Um, now remember, now snatch the rope off. Grab the rope. Grab the rope. Mm -hmm. And pull it. Now pull the pole off. Pull the pole off. Oh. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Just snatch it out. It pops loose. Not. <laughs> In theory. There you go. All right. Now what? There you go. <laughs> I'm going to open up the bells in the real. So that gator is 100% yours now. Okay. I let go of the stick. Is that all right? Oh, yeah, you're good. Okay. Let me get the stick out of the way. Oh, I'm sorry. That didn't come out. No. Okay. <laughs> Harpoon came out. I thought I got him pretty good, but <laughs> no, apparently not. And I still have all my fingers and toes. So <laughs> right now I'm very, very happy. If you're looking for adrenaline,
So, you want this, but you can't have it without this. Or this, or this. Until now, introducing a new way to travel, intranationally. Get all that international charm without ever leaving the country. Right here in St. Augustine, Bonavitra. Get all that culture, all the cuisine from that culture. You're welcome. All the gram-worthy sights from that hashtag culture. It's right here at home. St. Augustine, Bonavitra. Travel intranationally. The good old days of fishing weren't so good for the fish. Having a mount required killing your catch. Today, sportsmen release their fish and order a handcrafted composite mount from King Sailfish. The process is simple. Provide photos or select from the 175 species on our website. Our artists will recreate your trophy catch down to the finest detail. Because we aren't just a mount company. We're a conservation company. Order today at kingsailfishmounts.com. This episode of Let's Take It Outside is brought to you by Fisherman's Ideal Supply House, St. Pete, Florida. Family owned and operated, your one-stop boating and fishing shop. Pin, superior quality and design. Get ready for the battle. Legendary Adventure Charters, Clearwater, Florida. Charters, legends are made of. Chica Lodge, Isla Mirada. Join us for the All-American Backcountry Tournament, November 11th through the 14th, and the Presidential Selfish Tournament, January 21st through the 23rd. Be a part of history. My heart is racing. We hooked the gator in the water. We got it to the bank. I harpooned it, but the harpoon came out. We did react quickly, and now we're working to get them back to the bank again. No. I'm focused, but my adrenaline is gone. <laughs> okay. Which side? Yeah. Now. Harpoon. Okay. You gotta hit him harder. Harder? Yep. There you go. Which one? Okay. Oh. I don't know where else you can do this. <laughs> St. Augustine, Florida, right here, people. Ooh. Okay. Now what? This is probably the part I didn't tell you about. Oh, now's take, not the time for take surprises. Take all the ropes okay? off of it. Yeah, this is not the time for surprises. <laughs> now what? Slide your hands over, over the Both? back. Both? One hand. One hand. Mm -hmm. Over the back of his head. Push his eyes closed. Now push the other hand over and hold it down really tight. Okay. You're going to take this hand and slide it underneath the grass and grab his jaw. Are you sure? Mm hmm. Okay. okay, now what? And pull him up. All the way back. Okay. All the way back with both hands. Perfect. <laughs> so we're gonna put five wraps around. Okay. And then we're He's gonna- He's starting to blow up, I feel. Yeah. He's inflating here. Mm -hmm. Both of them. All right, now I'm gonna put five wraps around his eyes. We put the wraps around their eyes because that keeps them from seeing us. Okay. Now what? All right, now this is the final step. We're gonna put the pocket rope around his neck. Okay. And we're gonna eventually Disconnect everything, the hook and everything. But we've always got to hang on to this. Right. Okay. Get yeah, your what? first alligator. Live alligator shot. Woo! Woo, <laughs> so. I got to catch my breath. But Adam, I want to thank you. This is an experience I'm never going to forget. I can't imagine that you're going to forget your first live gator capture. And what a memory that I'm going to cherish. And it's so cool that you make memories like this for so many people. Oh, thank you very much. And it was a really an awesome experience being out with you guys today. Um, we had to work extra hard to get yep. this guy, but we got him. <laughs> it's so amazing. Wow. Hunting gator all day works up a huge appetite. We're here at historic Aunt Kate's restaurant right here on the river. And I'm so lucky to be joined by Frank Usina and his family has been here for multiple generations in the area. And I'd love to get a little background on Aunt Kate's and when it was founded and a little bit of history on it. Well, Aunt Kate's is relatively new. However, my grandparents came here in 1900 and uh, served meals. That's another whole different story. The, uh, the oyster roast and such over the years. And uh, the building that preceded this building 
uh, was built by my grandfather, grandparents and friends around 1988. One thing I noticed as well on your menu here at Aunt Kate's is you have gator tail. And tell, you know, there's a lot of people that have never had gator tail. How do you guys prepare it here at Aunt Kate's? Here it would be Germany deep fried. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can saute it. Uh, gator tail uh, is like other things. It has to be tenderized a little right. bit. And uh, it's generally served as an appetizer. Uh, you can say it tastes like chicken, if you right. like. <laughs> uh, a lot of things taste like chicken. Uh, but uh, What came first, the chicken or the alligator? I don't uh, know. So well, maybe chicken tastes like alligator. In Florida, it might have been the alligator. Right, I think it's alligator first before the chicken. I know it's going to be really good tonight, and I hope you guys can come join us here at Miss Kate's, and hopefully you'll get to meet Frank and have a talk with him as well. When you're looking to book your next adventure vacation, don't forget to check out the exciting city of St. Augustine. Yes, the city has history, culture, dining, shopping, but make sure to check out the wild side of St. Augustine. You can stay, play, fish, and check alligator hunting off the list. We're gonna see you guys be the judge. Who has the best baby gator call? I'll go first. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ew, 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 ew. That's horrible. It's working, there he is. <laughs> Adam, we're gonna rebait it, I guess, so you can come and check it tomorrow and see if we can catch these gators. Yep, let's go rebait it. Okay. 